Well, you know who's not ugly? Those, pe those fine people who work at Hooters. And we told you months ago, that's a segue, <laughs> they're opening a Hooters restaurant in Israel this summer, but now comes word that one is opening in Dubai, which I believe is the home of the Dubai Brothers. That's right, Hooters is expanding to the Muslim world. One of the investors is not expecting any backlash over the Hooters staff uniform, saying it's no more revealing than anything worn at the beaches. Is this a wise idea to bring this sexually charged eatery to a culture which executes people for being gay? And will their chicken wings be affected, Courtney? <laughs> well, Dubai is pretty Americanized. Like, I was actually considering going there for a trip, but, mm. I mean, it's it's apparently just like um, any other place that's building. It's a lot of commercial tourism and yeah. everything. Uh, so I expect fully that Hooters will be there. There's a ski slope in the mall. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's about as fundamentalist as Pittsburgh, Greg. I mean, if this was in Tehran, that'd be a story, and there'd be a lot of dead hooker waitresses. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, Dubai's pretty cool. But, and rich people go there, and so they'll be able to have that one thing on the menu at Hooters, the Dom Perignon mm -hmm. and uh, the bucket of chicken wings. I still, I still don't, I don't know who they're going to get to work there. Like, how yeah. could working at Hooters be any less attractive where you're like, okay, you're in skimpy clothes, you're going to get sexually harassed all day, and you might get suicide. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe. And what do you recruit them? Yeah. From the hotels, there's uh, all those people working at the hotels. Mm. That's well, and, and, and plus, and plus, since they're competing with, with the with the Muslim bar known as uh, Al Akbar, <laughs> um, there's, there's a lot of competition from there. I'm guessing that these girls are not going to be one of the 72 virgins that the others meet in heaven one of these days. That's true. They'll probably get hit on immensely because of it because they're attractive. As you know, I draw the news. In this case, I've drawn my favorite Hooters waitress. I met her in Fort Myers, Florida. And as, as you see, she has the head of a unicorn. I invited her back to my place where I tied her up, much to the pleasure of my cohort in crime, Fluffy McNutter. Needless to say, she came home in my front seat but left in the trunk. And it took two trips.